Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network hot take. If you haven't seen the show before, a hot take is where we get in the basement, give our thoughts, give our opinions on a TV show, a movie, or a game. Today, we're going to be talking about a TV show, and that TV show is DC Universe's Swamp Thing. And of course, as always, my co-host, Chris Trio. I'm Anthony Gucci. Thanks for watching. What's going on, Gucci? We're back. We're we were just here. Yeah, 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 we were just here. We just recorded our Once Upon a Time in Hollywood hot take, and that is probably up by the time this is going up. So after the, you're done this, why don't you go check that one out? It's pretty good. I mean, I'm a little I'm a little biased, but I'd have to say it's pretty great. <laughs> uh, so Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. So this is our third exclusive show on the DC Universe app. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we had Doom Patrol and Titans, which we reviewed. So if you're looking to... Uh, if you've already seen those shows and you haven't seen our hot takes on them, they're up. Check them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Podcast services, YouTube. We're all there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, Gooch, I'm curious. I think you know more or less kind of what I think. What do you think? Overall. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No. Really? Why? I, um, uh, the high was at the beginning, and I thought the first episode was great. And literally every episode, worse and worse. And worse. In what opinion, way? Were you like, I disinterested? Caring. I wasn't interested in the characters that much. The only characters I really liked were Alec, Holl Alec Holland slash Swamp Thing and Abby Arcane. They're the only three characters I really gave a flying fuck about. Gotcha. Everyone else seemed very... I, I just didn't like. I think there was something about the show I just did not vibe with. And it really, like, every episode, my interest just, like, decreased. Literally. And, like, I think it, by the end, I was, like, mm, I actually liked the way the show ended, but, like, as a whole, I really didn't like it, and I don't think, like... Were you bored, or did you just sorta, not, like... Okay. Sorta. Right. Um, I think I think they tried to do some things, and, like, we're not getting another season, so this show's done. Yeah. Um, you know, before episode one aired, and we found out Swamp Thing was canceled... We still and, don't and, even really know why. And there, so, w what I think th the issue is... I've heard, like, a bunch of different things. ...is there was a financial error. So, there was, that's what I've heard. I've heard there's a taxation error that they thought they were going to get more money back for doing these episodes and wherever North they Carolina. did them. North Carolina. Yeah. But then, when they realized they weren't, they cut it, because this was originally supposed to be 13 episodes. It got cut down to 10. And, I and mean, you can you can see that kind of, end, like, in the last sure. three episodes, it's like... This is supposed to wrap up, like, in, like, two episodes. Like, it doesn't seem like it. Anyway. And, I mean, I, I knew that coming in. Just, obviously, they you go in, they thought they were going to have 13 episodes to do something. They only got to... I didn't of... love it. And, honestly, I don't really think it's worth your time if you really don't care about Swamp Thing. But, Trio, uh, I do I do like the show sure, in some yeah, regards, yeah. and we'll talk about it. But, Trio, give your... I level fucking loved the show a lot. Like, I really <laughs> did. Like, I... <laughs> I, I, yeah, I this is very interesting. <laughs> I, I loved... Most of the characters, I thought there were sure a few flat ones that I didn't give a fuck about. Like, kind of the chief with her son. I was kind Dude, of very... okay. I Real don't really quick. get how her... They don't... I, I never understood that they were mom and son, ever. What do you and, mean? Like, I did not know that until, like, maybe, like, episode five or six. I was like, what? They say... It, she says it, like, she says... He says, all right, mom, like, at the end of the second or third episode. Like, directly to her face. Really? Yeah. Maybe I just totally missed it. Yeah, but, like, I mean, also, they do not look like... Like, they look like they could be the same age. See, it's not even that that got me. They like, that really took me I, out I want to... There's a spoiler thing that I want to say that doesn't... Like, it's not even that that gets me. There's a part... We'll get to it more towards the end that annoys but, me. But, yeah, yeah I'll, go, I'll go more into this. So, I mean, I, I thought Alec... The guy who played Alec was awesome. I did love yeah. him. And Abby, I thought their chemistry he's gonna was awesome. He's going to be in uh, It Chapter 2. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, yeah. he's the kid who uh, dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Stanley. Um... I really love their dynamic. I yeah, love to read as Abby Arcane. Like they both do a fucking great job. And, and the guy who plays like the, Swamp Thing, dude, yeah, so good. Swamp Thing, the way he even looks, the chemistry between like Abby and him as Swamp Thing is awesome. It's awesome, and it's yeah. good. And I, I think, think like those three characters are the highlight of the show, and that's why I like them for sure. The prosthetics on Swamp Thing, doing it practical, worked, dude. And I, it looked great. I cannot stress. Like I feel like you don't see a, su a suit like that even in movies these days. Like how yeah. fucking amazing. It looks at every angle, and his his stature obviously helps with that. But the way he can emote through it, I was so surprised. Yeah. There's like a last scene that's very emotional, and like you can see 
his feelings just through his face. And, like, with a prosthetic like that, like a full head-to-toe makeup, it just blows me away. The mossicity, Gooch. The mossiness. The puns. It's so good. It looks great. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I really liked Avery Sutherland's character. I thought he was awesome. I like the I, guy I played him. I, I don't think I like the Southern vibe, and I don't think I like the setting, which also puts a damper. I don't, like, I, I don't know. Like, Preacher kind of gets into this setting a little bit, and for some reason, I just don't like... There is definitely, the like, Louisiana a... Louisiana uh, Swamp vibe. Like, I, I just... There's something about it that I just don't like. There is always a dark tint on the screen, which I don't think is necessary. I would have... I wish they kind of almost made it a little bit more colorful in some sure. aspects. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I really like that whole storyline and how he played the character and how he was very much two-faced and how you see his kind of downfall throughout the season. I thought Maria was really good, his wife... Uh, I really like the villain, the guy who plays the villain, uh, Floronic Man, uh, Dr. Avery, no. Jason Woodrow. Woodrow. I thought he was really good just in the way of, you can tell he's one of those guys that's just so incredibly smart that he's not going to be normal. You can't be when you have that level of intelligence. And, I mean, he, you see that he cares for his wife, but and he's also, going to go to this insanity. him and his wife, like, I was like, they don't seem like, sometimes you look at couples and you go, they don't look like a good couple. Like, just by, like, not, like, look. Like, not Jeff, attractiveness, yeah, yeah. but, like, just, like, the way they look together. I'm like, you guys do not look like you hey, do you. a couple at all. Hey, you. fucks. And you it's don't not look like you because, together. like, she was black and he was white. Like, they just, like, did not look like a pair at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is, like, I'm not buying the whole couple thing from these two. I got gotcha. you. Like, I, sure. I, like, okay. Like, I don't mind it, but, like, I'm just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you look very old and she looks very young. I'm... Yeah, I'm... Tr- see, I actually... It, it was just it's weird. Funny. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even the think about it that The chemistry just wasn't there for me. And I, I thought it, it was it, good enough at for a me. glance. Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. for sure. I, I, I mean, I thought the chemistry was good. I liked the whole through line of her with her disease and what he's doing, why he's doing his research. Yeah, his motivations were. I think it all made clear sense. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, like, obviously, this is a show about a swamp thing. There's going to be some silly elements, and like the the mama Xanadu, whatever her name was, uh, Madam Xanadu. Madam Xanadu. I thought she was a little bit silly at, from time to time. Yeah, she didn't really uh, have like too much of a big role. Yeah, um, yeah, like, yeah. She kind of comes in early and then like comes back in like late, and but like really doesn't have a uh, like a, another role. Also, the Blue Devil is just kind of there as well. It's like he, they're, he setting, makes th- it's, they're just kind of setting him up, but like the fact that he's there is very much irrelevant. Yeah, he was there to do his thing and. Uh, yeah, his story is a little bit more ancillary, but it I does kind of wrap I kind of liked it, but like I'm just like, uh, did you like, like the actor? That yeah, played him? yeah, I thought he was good. I was just like, where are we going with it? Like, what? Like, and is Swamp Thing like gonna be in like Titans or is like that event in Titans? Like, is Blue Devil gonna appear somewhere else? Like, I would like to see that. Well, obviously, I think they thought they were getting another season, or they th- or they thought they oh, had yeah. a chance of it even. Yeah. And I think that's what that's what really kind of I think took not even took the wind out of it by the end of this because I I really every every Friday I wanted to watch this I. One thing I do enjoy a lot about this current crop of DC stuff that we're getting is it's very much the antithesis of your CW stuff that's like the villain a week and you're dealing with this. Obviously you have your overarching villain, villain for but seasons, every yeah. every new week you have this storyline that you're dealing with or whatever. I really felt like these shows and, and Swamp Thing had, does a good job of giving us just, it's a it's almost an eight hour movie again. Or a ten-hour movie, yeah, or whatever it is. Yeah, and I, the vibe I, for this is definitely there. I can, I can see that. And I mean, I enjoy the stuff it explored with the green. I mean, this is. I, lo- this I is, like how we do talk about the green. That's one thing I was like, all right, when are we going to talk about the green? Because that's like a huge thing for Swamp. This thing. is extremely My- influenced by Alan Moore's like run. It's basically the run of his. I don't think any of us are me and you are Swamp Thing fans. Honestly, the I only, read Alan Moore's run just because I was interested and I've heard. The, about the only it thing yet. I know about Swamp Thing is like what I've done on my own time and the fact that he's in. Injustice. <laughs> no, yeah, and and I, in and in uh, Justice League Dark and like just where I've seen him pop up, like yeah, I, like I don't re- like it's Swamp Thing, like I don't know. No, it's a, <laughs> and like and I agree, it's a tough character to get going. It really, like I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a he is a big character. gigantic monster mash thing from the Swamp, swamp Thing. Like it's yeah, like, like a, the, the like the um you know the rank. Uh, Rankin Bass, is that it? The the hard, like the original like monsters. Yeah, and like the Swamp Thing. Yeah, it's like it, it's it's very like uh, like stereotypical what you think a Swamp Thing would look like. And it's funny, someone mentioned to this to, this to me, even like in Alec Colland, you you're not getting this. I feel like classic CW even like hero where he's this extremely good looking dude who has his abs out every five times. Like he turns into the Swamp Thing. And he is the Swamp Thing throughout the entire show, which I I was I was afraid they were gonna do like, oh, he turns in and out of it, or for some reason. Yeah, or and they do they do bring Alec back to for, kind of like 
like for some scenes, but like not as much as you would think. That yeah, worked, I, I think, in a lot of ways. And that actor was just good. Like Dude, I wanted it. to see him. More. No, and in a by way. the end, I like how they use him at the end, which we'll get more into into the spoilery stuff. Which I guess I can't really talk about much else without spoiling. So what yeah, do you let's, think? Go, let's go. Let's go into it. Yeah, right. I mean, why right. not? Full spoiler territory. So I really liked the way they went that whole scene with Doctor Woodrow and he's taking him apart. And he's literally yeah, like, it's like it's brutal. Yeah. And that's another thing I meant to mention. This is a horror show. Yeah, this is a lot of body body horror. There's a lot of a body lot horror. Of body There's horror. a lot of like the one scene which isn't my cup of tea normally, and I like wouldn't probably be attracted to a show like this if it wasn't a DC comic for sure. Property. And I don't think it's egregious to the most part, but like there is a a very thing esque scene at the beginning, the first episode when like a body breaks apart in a morgue and the swamp kind of like pours out of it. And I mean, I think all that stuff works, even like. One guy freaks out. He thinks he has a snake on his hand and sticks his hand out of fucking garbage disposal. Like, they aren't fucking around, which I really appreciated. This, the tone that they went for in this, I told you. Is different. Is different. And I wish this is the tone that they went with for Hellboy. Which, this is what I thought they were going to for Hellboy 2. Like, it was going to be super dark, super scary. Hellboy with David Harbour. Yes, sorry. The newest Hellboy. And, like, I want to see more. You see that yet? No. I'm going, I'm going to once it's out. Trash. But, (laughs) but, uh, I, I, just think that they, they took a weird character, they committed to it, and I think they did it in a pretty great way. And I think that they used the right elements from the show. So, um, getting back to that scene when he's dissected, and he's basically talking about, like, Alec this whole, for most of the season, is thinking he's been transformed into the Swamp Thing. He thinks he still can be a man. But what you find out is that, and this is a line directly out of Alan Moore's run, is he's a plant who thinks he's Alec Holland. Is the idea. So he is basically... Yeah. The swamp has merged with his thoughts and his consciousness to create this new being, which is the green. And in the comics, there's been multiple swamp things. Even the first swamp thing wasn't Alec Holland. I can't remember what his name the was. The first swamp thing, actually, like, he's in there, though. Right? He's in the in the show? No, or, no, no, no. The, like, in, like... like the body of whoever is Swamp Thing is inside yeah, I think so, Swamp Thing. I think for certain ones, they do have the memories of, like, the older Swamp Things and stuff. And even, like... No, they no, do no, no, start... no. Like, his body is inside the plant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get yeah. Just, Like, he is yeah. coded in... The... So, yeah. yes. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. And even... Oh, dude, when he's pulling apart, he's like... I... the His scream is crazy. When he goes, like, full, like, Whoa, what are you doing to me? It's harrowing. And I, I, I think... That I can't emphasize how much I really did enjoy... Just watching this crazy shit, and it's not a show for everyone. I will say, yeah, right. I, I, like it's not. It's not that I like didn't like it. I just, I, like, like on like levels that we're talking about. I think it just from like a plot perspective, I didn't like. I like. I wish it was kind of more like, like we get you know the introduction of the Floronic Man like at the end of it, and like I'm like wow. I'm like I wish the villain was like somebody like this. Well, but I the think those time. last and, like those last two episodes because like I don't like the the like the I like the the green and the mystical the magical plot themes in this show, but I, what I don't like is the real world stuff. Like I don't know, like that was very uninteresting. To See, me. I rather yeah. would have seen Abby and um, Swamp Thing like going up against someone like the Floronic Man or something more magical that kind of like well I mean they even talk about like that's the sucky part I really I, I would have loved to see what these last three episodes would have been because I do think we would have gotten the full resolution with Floronic Man and he would have finished that off and then they would have teed up the next thing for the darkness which is probably the death uh, the death the rot which it's called in the comics which actually Abby, Abby Arcane becomes the conduit of the rot by the end of one comic series and they can't be together because if they touch something dies so i think that would have been a cool way to go but again i i do think it's almost a maybe it's not because you seem to not enjoy or not not enjoy but not love even the other stuff the episodes we got but i, I think if we got those extra three it would have been a much more satisfying ending yeah but I, yeah but like all like things they really like it seems like like a lot of plot threads are just like like in the beginning of the last episode they're kind of like still really there and then they really like are tied they have up to t- yeah hard, no for sure like by the end of the ep- last episode yeah and it really sucks I do think that they did give a great send off to like Abby and Swamp Thing's relationship by the end yeah like, I, really I, I do like that last scene, scene with them too. of them they, together they were they like, were awesome Alec and the actor who plays Swamp Thing like their chemistry with 
Abby or Kate. Abby I can't is remember just, her name. It, it works. It works Reed. so well. Uh, like it works. Like I like I really I really like buy it. Like and even like I, I love the idea. He's like I'm just gonna go out and def- diffuse basically into the green, and then Alec, basically his consciousness shows up and talks to me. He's like, dude, you can't come on. Like I am tech. I know I'm dead, but I am in here. Like I love that whole interaction. Yeah, I like the final scene. Like they interact for the first together. Time yeah, in the yeah, show, yeah, which was cool. It works. Um, like I even I would even be fine if this was like a season or two and like that was it and that's all they planned for. No, I don't I think agree. this is a show that needs to like live long. I agree. And I think like just trying to do something cool and like telling a little like you know a little comic book arc and that's that that's the end of it. You know, I mean, this is just very far fetched and they never do it. But I would like my in a perfect world they do two seasons of this and those that's done. And then if they ever do a Justice League Dark, you bring this like if they ever bring Swamp Thing into anything else, they have to get this guy back. They have to. Give the, bring this fucking suit back. It looks so good. Don't give me a CGI Swamp Thing. Yeah. Especially after showing me how well it looks real life. Yeah. But who knows if we'll ever even see him again. And, yeah, that, that's the thing, too. Like, yeah. you know, Titans is going to continue and Doom Patrol is going to continue as well. But, you know. Yeah. Stargirl's coming up. Yeah. On the on the app. I don't even... We There's haven't a rumor, gotten uh, for that. What's his name's going to be in that? Kid Flash. That they cast this one guy as him. I can't. Keenan Lodz. Oh, no, Kid like, Flash. Like, is like be yeah, not not uh, uh not that Wild, the White Wally West. They're gonna use. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah. Is this a reason to buy the DC Universe app? In my opinion, no. Yeah, I, even even if I liked it, I feel like it's too niche. No, it definitely is. <laughs> I, I, I agree. It's I too like, weird. You're in or you're out. Yeah, a like, thousand like percent. I don't understand why you'd be interested in Swamp Thing unless you read the comics. And even that, like I do, like I think if you're which into, I think like, a is monster... giving you a little more context, which is for sure you like it more than I do because I don't like, have any context for anything. Like I had to sure. look up who the four like man I was. I was like, is Jason Woodrow in the comics? Like, let me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, now I get it. Yeah, I don't, and even like I read that before. I I don't know. I think if you're a monster movie fan, if you're in yeah, the you, you stuff, definitely might. I like think this. this is definitely your niche. Yeah, but yeah, again, it's not gonna be for everyone. Did I enjoy the hell of it? Yeah. Am I glad we got it? Sure. Am I sad it's gone? Hell yeah. But what are you gonna do? I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I missed. So what's up with the, this council? What the is council that of green? Comment? No, no, no. Or, the the fucking the the. the the group that Avery's were. Oh, with, the Black oh, man. that's so. In the original Alan Moore run, that is the company that like causes his accident. Like he's working for that company. That I can't remember the name of it. The the. Uh, it's like the not the conduit. It's a C. It's not the sea. The the. It's not the council. No, it's not. I don't. I can't remember. Uh, what it is. Coven. The, it's like the company or something. No. Anyways, it's this kind it's of a black C word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Groups yeah. that. I can't remember. Order themselves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but basically, they're trying to... They're, they're funding science experiments throughout the world, and then his his formula was what causes him to change. But again, they do kind of use that same thing, Where but Avery Sutherland kind of made the formula, and what's his name? Woodrow. But yeah, I, I don't think I have anything else on Swamp Thing, unless you do. I'm trying to think if there's any other scene that I missed. Or any of the characters. Um, yeah. Not really. I think we kind of hate everything. Uh, For sure. Oh, yeah. Getting back to the thing that made me confused with uh, the chief and her son. Oh, uh, yeah. So it ends up being Avery's son. Avery's son. Isn't he black? The, the son? Like, he looks like... like Yeah, uh, he's definitely, he definitely looks like a darker skin. Yeah, so I'm like... Like... How could... How did... The... <laughs> yeah, face is uh, also, like, how old is this chief? Like The this, chief this... looks 40s to 50s to me. Like, but like, and like, and then, and then the I'm like, be 23, is, 25. Yeah, and then like, Avery looks like in his like 50s. Yeah, Avery, I could 60s. see Avery going after and young I, chicks. I was just like, this is weird. Like, I, yeah, like, I don't know. I wasn't buying it. See, it's funny. That didn't stump me at all, but I, not to say it does, it's interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I didn't, I mean, I don't know. It didn't really cross my mind. The only thing that crossed my mind is like, they don't look like they could at all be. Like, without showing me his like dad. It. Yeah. Then I would be like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. But then you show me the dad, I'm like, how the fuck did... She's a redhead. He's an old white guy. She's a redhead? Or she looked red. Or like, brunette to red, it looked it's like... A br- she's a brunette? Alright, well, whatever. I would not say she's a redhead at all. It looked like a little bit of Auburn, but we'll talk about this later. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was the only thing that kind of confused me. Uh, but yeah, I would have liked to see the end of this season. I really would have. Anything else, Gooch? Nope. Alright, well, thank you all so much for watching live. 
on twitch.tv slash Dark Under Network. We really appreciate it. You can find us on YouTube as well as podcast services. If you drop us a review on there, it really helps us out. Hey, and while you're at it, check out our social medias. We're on everything at Delco Nerds. Uh, and all this information can be found on our website, www.delcounernetwork.com. For Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy, and we will see you next time.